<laughs> All right, everybody, we have made it to the auto stop. Here we are. And for those of you guys that wanted to see more Mark 1s and Mark 2s, I'm in the parking lot of the auto stop. 78 GTI in, in a case. <laughs> it's probably been here since it was new. And it's beautiful. Look at the inside of that. Of course, then we have a few visitors, and I'm, I'm wearing my rabbit shirt today, but looks like we have some people. Touring with their Mark 1s, <laughs> and um, wow, so this, I gotta tell you, as I walk over this other third case that's here in the parking lot. I had kind of one of those top gear moments today. <laughs> I'm driving the GTI TCR rental, which is freaking amazing. As I'm standing here right next to it, might as well just show it to you. Um, this car is ridiculous. So as I'm doing, 230 kilometers an hour down the Autobahn. You know those moments in Top Gear where where Clarkson just starts grinning and he's like, like everything's right with the world. And I had sport mode on, the exhaust is super loud. Everything was just right. Just sunny day, cruising down the Autobahn to go to Wolfsburg, to go to the auto stop. So it just doesn't get any better than that. And of course, here we go, another GTI in glass. All right. <laughs> So the parking lot's cool. It's gotta be way cooler inside. Let's go check this place out. All right, everybody, I am here at the auto stop. I, wow. Um, you see it in pictures, everybody talks about it. Um, kind of one of those things that I wasn't sure I'd ever get to, but uh, I'm here. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna start showing you guys around.
Zweiten Weltkrieg, ne? der Leopard. Ja, ich meine, das ist also So if you can only believe that that was just the first building, um, there is a huge campus here. According to the map, there's about 13 buildings. Um, some of them are hotels. I don't think they're going to let me into the Ritz-Carlton, so I'll probably skip that one. Um, so now I'm going to head over to the Lamborghini building, which is over there with the Lamborghini on the side of it. and. Uh, I don't think they're letting me into the private clubhouse, which is off here to the to the left. Um, but uh, I see a picture of a rally car on the side of the building over here. Um, so first thing we'll do is we'll just check out the check out Lamborghini and see see what they have on display. All right, so the Lamborghini thing was kind of, kind of weak, kind of cool. You can see on the building there, the car's missing because they flip it around inside the building and uh, they uh, do a little laser light show and pump some engine noises in through the, um, in through the room with the, sorry, it's really like alternating between shady and light today. <laughs> um, so they kind of like, pump some noises in through a video and you watch the video and then the car flips into the room with a bunch of uh, dry ice fog and uh, yeah I guess you're supposed to feel good about that so um, it was interesting I'm here I went and saw it um, but if you're on limited time skip that one <laughs> so I'm up here in the Audi pavilion and apparently a bunch of these pavilions are uh, places where you can go and look at uh, new cars that are on display and sit in them. And there's a gentleman over there sitting in a car right now and just punching buttons and checking stuff out. Um, so, yeah, Skoda has a pavilion I walked through. Um, Audi has this pavilion. And uh, uh, they have an R8. And uh, I might go see if I can sit in the R8. <laughs> <laughs> so the R8 is open. Wow. This would be an amazing, an amazing car to go out and drive. Not sure how I feel about all these new instrument clusters with the with just the regular LCD panels. But the one in the GTI is actually pretty nice, so this could be, could be a good thing.
All right, so that wraps up. These pavilions aren't very large. It kind of wraps up the Audi pavilion. And of course, it wouldn't be a great day without some frozen yogurt. And this is a rhubarb berry frozen yogurt, which is absolutely amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm going to eat this and then I'll head into the next pavilion. I just got passed by a Volkswagen robot. <laughs> All right, so the next stop on this little tour of Autostadt is the Porsche exhibit, which is very ornate, as you would expect from Porsche. So I'm sure that the inside is equally as impressive. So none of these pavilions are very big at all. Um, in fact, they're all pretty easy to get in and out of a couple of minutes. Okay, it's completely wrong looking at the map. I knew where I wanted to go, I went to the wrong building. So this is their delivery center here, which uh, um, I think if you buy a car, you can come here and pick it up. Um, I'm gonna try to get over into the little tower thing and check out the, the huge car elevator too. Um, but. I'm really glad that they gave me this map because otherwise I'd be completely lost. Uh, so, all right, so I'm gonna go find this other building that I tried to find initially. <laughs> okay, it's a real damn shame that we don't get this. Big old Hamrock diesel truck. This would be so, so good. Bought myself a little Volkswagen Golf Mark I at the little gift shop here. And two, I'm going to get one of the Volkswagen sausages. Yes, Volkswagen also makes sausages, and they only sell them on campus here in their cafeteria. So I am going to go find the cafeteria, and I'm going to order myself a sausage. All right, everybody, I am back in what is most likely the tiniest hotel room in Germany. Well, actually, probably not. There's probably one smaller. Um, but uh, I'm working on video, uh, and uh, for some reason, my uh, closing didn't uh, make it in. So um, I'll just show you guys this room real quick. It's basically that, and then there's a bathroom right here. <laughs> That's it. It's a little bed. But, you know, the price was right, so uh, I don't need a lot of space for, for sleeping here for one night, so. But, 
that is the end of uh, the first of my day at the Autostat. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you probably didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed being there, but uh, definitely a must see if you get to Germany. Uh, so tomorrow, Auto Museum, Auto Museum Volkswagen. Um, I will be going to that. So I will be going to Auto Museum Volkswagen, and that's where a lot of the cool uh, vintage cars are at. So uh, until tomorrow, <laughs> get out there and work on something.